Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Survival. Alrighty, when we left off, we had headed to Fellhammer, Fort Fellhammer here, which we are in, and uh, defeated, well, pretty much all the bandits, and got the fragment of Wuthrad back. So now we can head home. Technically, we can't. Uh, the question is, will I do that? Well, it depends. <laughs> depends on a lot of things. One of the things that depends on if I'm doing that or not is, do I have a lot of things to break down? Technically, not a lot, but some. Elven bow, great sword. Um... Not seeing a lot there. Uh, my swords were these. Okay. I might as well keep the bow for now and just replace my imperial bow with it. Um, the dagger and greatsword, though. We still need to get rid of those. So, with that in mind, get rid of the dagger and then the greatsword. And, well, I guess I'll break that down. Okay. Cool. Might as well... No, I'll just sell it. I'll just sell it. But I should process this into ingots. All of this here. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about it. Alright. And with that done, it is chilly here. I would rather not stay here for long if I can avoid it. But the nearest town is Dawnstar, and I know they don't have a carriage driver. Dang it. Okay, so I'm going to have to head south once again. I'm going to have to head back south just to avoid freezing to death. Well, at least the beast form is back and ready. I can do that again. How's that going for me, at least? Alrighty. Well, it's going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a long while. So, let's, uh, let's strap in, shall we? <laughs> because there's not much else we're going to be doing. Except heading home. Ooh, grab those. Perfect. This is one of the uh, main downsides to the whole survival thing, is that the fast traveling is not available. Does that mean the game is more immersive? Yes, absolutely. Uh, but at the same time, fast travel is a nicety that it would at least be nice to somewhat have. I mean, if I paid for... A horse and all of that. As long as I'm riding the horse, I don't see why we shouldn't allow fast travel for that little bit of time. But, I mean, you know, who am I? Who am I to question the logic? Eh. Well, it just seems silly to me, I guess. Therein lies the problem. If it seems silly to me, I'll just keep going on and on and on about it. Won't you ever shut up. Alright. This should at least get me past the dangers of that encampment, which I think... Did I leave the giant alive there, or did I kill it? Oh, I left it alive. I see it right over there now. Okay. Well, never mind. In that case, I'll just walk to the Loria's farm and uh, warm up a bit. Uh-oh. They're still doing their little skirmish over here. want to stay away from that. 
Because that skirmish will only lead to trouble. Tell you what. Alright. Get into farm proper. And that should help warm me up a little bit. Key phrase, should. Eh? Eh, maybe? Eh, it's not giving me, uh, getting warmer. Eh. Oh, well. Well, I'll take a couple potatoes. There we go. Take a couple of those. Take a few cabbages. There we go. And maybe one more wheat. And with that, we'll call it good. All right. I would assume I'm warming up by now. Or at least I should be warming up by now. Because this looks like it would be warmer than where I was just at. But, well, hi there. Don't know what you guys were doing. Okay. Um, I have two perks. I'm still not sure where I want to put them at all. Oh. I could put one into that. Arcane Blacksmith. Easily do that. No problems. Hmm. Interesting. I'm almost there with one-handed. That would be nice. Hmm. Almost there with archery, too. Uh, I'll be there eventually, I'm sure. Let's just move on up. Leave these boys to their business. As it were. Ooh. I see a butterfly that's good for making health potions for me. There we go. A number of them. Hello. Didn't expect to see three of them. Didn't expect to see bandit bodies still here either, but here we are. Uh. <laughs> well. I mean, if they're not willing to clean them, then there's no point in doing anything with it. I'm probably going to get yelled at if I do that. How am I still... How am I chilly? How am I chilly? I'm now standing next to a fire. If I'm not warm in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to lose it. There we go. Jesus. Had to make it difficult now, didn't you? Alright. Um, a whole bunch of deer are running in opposite direction now. Interesting. What made them start going? Interesting. Alright, well, I can get one of them. Since they're standing right there. Doing nothing. Alright, they're probably not going to see me. Regardless of if it's telling me I'm detected or not. And... Booyah! I wonder where that actually hit. I mean, it doesn't matter. It was a kill shot anyway, but... I wonder where it actually hit. Kind of curious. Ow. Bodies hidden by the grass. It won't tell me. Dang it. Alright. Why was this deer carrying a Jasper? That's weird. Oh, well. Either way, got my arrow back, too. So, haha. -ha. Do that, and away we go. Whee! Gotta head back to town. To, among other things, drop off the fragment of Uthrad. And then also drop off a whole bunch of my other stuff. Mike! Mike the liar. The people of Skyrim are more open-minded about certain things than people in other places. Very true. Maik knows why Falmar are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing. Really. Really? You say so, huh? Maik has heard it is dangerous to be your friend. I mean, 
not exactly wrong. Mike is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Okay, okay. I mean, it's only dangerous to be my friend if you're, you know, unable to get out of the way of my arrows or my magic or, you know, in general, because I'm usually throwing myself into danger and that means you're coming along with me whether you like it or not. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, it's a fair point. Not exactly false. I'm going to collect all the damn butterflies I can. Damn it. There we go. Let me catch you. You little shits. There we go. I guess I can swear this late in the episode, right? Right, Reggie? You're not going to give me too much crap for it? Uh, uh, okay. I think that's him giving me the go-ahead, and him not flipping the bird at me. <laughs> or he could be doing that too, who knows. Anyway. All I know is I want to take a bit of a nap. Huh. Just curious which things I might want to pursue. Oh. Potions you mix with beneficial effects have a 25% greater magnitude. I could go either or with this, honestly. Once I get another point, or, well, I say another perk, I could go with both. But let's actually go with Benefactor for right now. Because I could always use a little bit more oomph out of my potions and whatnot. Nap for at least five hours. Seems like a normal nap for me. <laughs> okay. And I'm hungry. Okay, of course I am. Uh, medicine stew, why not? There we go. Oh, hey, blue butterfly. A lot of them. Yeesh, okay. There we go. Just curious to see if there is another angry mammal. Sitting down over here? The answer is no. Okay. That's good. I'll eventually, eventually run over there to check some... Uh, check some fish. That shouldn't be too bad. Really wish they added fishing. That'd be nice. Having the ability to fish. Well, you know doing your other duties for the realm and whatnot. Just having the ability to fish would be nice. It'd be very nice. Alrighty. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh you bastard. You. There we go. Got the bugger. Jesus. Alright. Away I go. And we will drop off the fragment. Mainly because the other mission requires me going all the way to solitude. And that's a rather long walk. <laughs> to say the least. But, could be worse, I guess. I just need to take carriage there, and technically solitude could, you know, their carriage could bring me back, so it's not like it's the worst possible thing. I just need to stock up before I go. I just noticed there was red, red flowers. There we go. Good. Alrighty. 
I just run myself ragged. You can hear my <laughs> Kishi breathing heavily. Oh boy. It's like the whole time. All right. Well, hello. All right. Okay. And you know what? Since I'm here already. Elven bow. Let's upgrade that to flawless. Oh, I can upgrade these to superior. Not gonna, but I mean, it's an option at least. And that's not all what I wanted. I wanted that. There we go. Mm, nah, I'll just keep it that way. At least for a little while. And what is... What's this marker about? Are you still working with the banner oh! The evenings, I didn't realize Aella was walking around town. Have you been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand, friend? Yes. I wish I could be there with you. Soon enough. Soon enough indeed. I got the fragment. Another piece of glory. Good work, shield brother. And everyone's pathing has now broken. <laughs> I'm looking for work. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. Uh-oh. He's asked to see you. Crap. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Okay. Well. We in trouble. We are in trouble now. Oh no. I really need to deal with some of my inventory. I am sitting at 500. <laughs> 507 out of 660. It's a little too close for my comfort. So, into your Vasker we go. And we talk to Codlack about what he wants to see us for. Oh, hey. There, there, there may be things that'll be hard to explain, so why don't you just stay here? So, you're a companion. Now, Perhaps yeah. Perhaps you could tell your comrades Bikai's better with a sword than a broom. He's been waiting so long to join. Oh, that's right. You haven't officially joined yet. Okay. Uh, can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? Uh, what's new, Bikai? Hmm. Hmm. The more Bikai sees this place, the more pain he feels in his heart. It is not a place of good memories for him. Mm hmm Not entirely because the companions mistreated him, but because he has come to link it with what happened back in Morrowind. The dining hall, the living quarters, Bikai's bed, that broom... <laughs> they are sadness to Bikai. It is unfortunate. Hmm. The companions, though they are mercenaries, have a noble goal. And in better circumstances, Bikai thinks he would have been a fine member. But perhaps it is best that he was not accepted into the ranks. He does not think he could ever have found happiness here. Come, let's go. Okay, well, first there things first. You need from this I'll one. need you yes. to... I'll need you to wait here. I'll be back. Head on, then. This one will be waiting. Okay. Cool. Yes, there's going to be some questions that he's going to have some... <laughs> he's going to have some questions about that I'm not sure I'm allowed to answer. At least not yet. Hey! I hear you've been busy of I... Screw it. We're already dead to rights. Ayala and I work to avenge Skior's death. Your hearts are full of grief, and my own weeps at the loss of Skior. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. I don't know 
know about the that one. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. That's a fair point, though. In any case, I have a task for you. Okay. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Skior said it was a blessing from here seen. Aye, that sounds like it. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So, what is the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Moral Coven. Mm. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. Mm -hmm. But we had been deceived. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting ground. So, oh. for some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Mm. I see. Is there a way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. Mm. I see. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us. Only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. It shall be done. Good. Now move quickly. And don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lad. Some nights I dream about the mists of Sovngarde. Well, here's hoping you get to see them soon. Willingly, might I add. Okay, let's move on. Pick up our buddy. Hey, Bakai. Hmm? What is it? Let's Kajit go. Will follow. Yes, you will. Alright, let's go. The guy's gonna have some weird questions when we get to where we're supposed to be going, but... It don't matter. It's all the way... Oh, Jesus, that is a ways away. <laughs> oh. I, I have not even been to Falkreath yet. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, in that case, I should probably grab... Actually, wait. Staff of Fear. That is extremely valuable. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go to... Bellathor's general goods and sell off some of my crap. Just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Well, I like hearing that. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Okay. Trinkets, odds I'm going to skip the other half because that that's weird. Thing. Okay. Well, let's see what you do have. Not a lot in that department. What do you have here? Perception. See item names and values at a distance. Huh. That is an interesting enchant from that mod. Item names and values. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's not terrible, but I mean, it's not very useful either, so... <laughs> Not really, uh, not really gonna jump for that, but, uh, hmm. 
Well, I could always obtain some more soul gems for no other reason than to uh, build them up a little further. All right. Hmm. Mm hmm. I guess I'll also buy the Grand Soul Gem. Why not? Okay, with that done, I now sell my old bow, since I don't need that that badly anymore. Um, Staff of Fear. There we go. Um, let's see. Poison wise. Do I need this many cure disease potions? Probably not. But then again, when I inevitably rid myself of the werewolf curse, it won't be protecting me from disease that much anymore. So, uh, might be for the best if I did it. Hmm. Might as well sell all the old ones that are worthless. Okay. Weak poison, weak stamina poisons. Stamina poisons in general. Kind of not worth it. Um, what other things can I sell to you that I don't need to be holding on to? Period. I have a lot of iron ore. Jesus. Sell that. Sell that. Morganite. It's actually a pretty looking stone there. Just not pretty enough. Obsidian blue. That is kind of cool. Kind of rare as well from the look of it. Alright. Titanium aura. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. I might keep that. I might keep this. Alright, it's normal sapphires. Pink sapphires. So delight. Blue topaz, I'll keep that. Zircon blue. I'll sell the blue zircon. Don't need that. Conjure familiar. Ah, I don't need that either. I think everything else, though, I will need. So that's good enough. Do come back. Thank you, I will. Inevitably, to sell off more crap. <laughs> Which I will have more crap. I always will. Always do. Alright. Air's comfortable here. I want to double check something. Can I? No, I can't. I can't do the thing. Yet. Which is understandable. Given... There we go. I haven't been at the thing yet. The thing that would give me the thing I'm talking about. The thing I'm very specifically trying not to say because it would be spoilers for the plan to do the thing. But it's not far away. Let's say that much. Okay, how is my inventory doing now? 496. Uh, it's still a little much. I'll head back home and uh, drop off my crap before I go off to do the thing. The thing I keep alluding to. The thing that I'm using very big words to avoid saying the thing. And I'm hungry. Great. Fantastic. Oh, I didn't know you guys were here. Otherwise I would have waited. Damn it. Okay, um... Salmon steak, there we go. For sale at fair prices. That sounds good to me. Do you believe all this talk of dragons? Can the ancient ones Ataba. truly have returned? Ataba. I uh, wish I could say Rizad. that I did not. But in every part of Skyrim, there is talk of dragon sightings. It is Perhaps no we will stop for a moment so I can restock my supply of moon sugar, hmm? What oh, good point. What happen now? While we are still trying to make a living? We are fortunate. We travel lightly and can escape at a moment's notice. 
We have no home that the dragon can burn to the ground. True. I feel pity for these Nords. When the dragons attack cities and towns, they will lose everything. And we will lose customers. Let us hope that if there are dragons, there are only a few, and they are not too foul-tempered. Well, that's the hope now, isn't it? Perhaps you have encountered Madran or Akari. Both are sworn to me, and both have worthy goods to offer. Fair enough, sounds good. Take a look. Hmm. You do have a lot of interesting stuff. Um, hmm. Well, I could always use more Malachite. That ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Imp Gall. I have no idea what that is, but that looks gross. Cork Bulb Root. That looks also gross. Minotaur Horn. That looks interesting. But I have no idea what it would be used for. A Watcher's Eye. What the hell is this? This is weird looking. Cool, but weird looking. Okay, um... Do you have major stamina? Okay, that's fair. Scintillating hide boots. Being struck by a fire, frost, or shock spell reduces damage from that element by 10% for 5 seconds. That would be very useful. That would be extremely useful. Cork bulb arrows. What does cork bulb arrows do exactly? Great sword of orbits. Chance to lift the target's feet off the ground, immobilizing it for four seconds. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. May your road lead you to warm sands. Fair enough. If the river is not frozen to ice, perhaps. Well, I mean, you know. That's a constant issue when you're walking across a climate that is at least two-thirds snow and ice. And the majority of which you travel. Not sure all of it would be snow and ice. I mean, this area is pretty temperate here. Then again, up on those mountains. Very snowy. In fact, just a little bit north. What the ever-loving fuck am I looking at? <laughs> uh, Skyrim, never change. Your floating, flying horses. <laughs> uh, that was weird, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> the horse went back to see its people. I must go. My people need me. Wee. Alright. Uh, I know I saw another one. Oh, salmon. Well, I did need to do some fishing. Geronimo! Oh, Isn't that deep? Alright. <laughs> Try and catch them as they're jumping out of the water. <laughs> uh, if, I, and if that actually worked, it would have been hilarious. Unfortunately, it didn't. But it's fine. The attempt was made, and that's all that matters. Okay, let's go further. Ooh, I can catch the salmon here. I'm okay with that. No more salmon. That's eh, fine. Okay. Just gonna try and crouch so we am as close to the water level as possible. Could possibly see underneath it. We keep catching salmon meat. Keep catching salmon, rather, I should say. Ooh. That went down a lot faster than I anticipated. Alright. Okay.
All right. So fishing, 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 fishing. And keep on going this way. Any any fish at all? Better be worthwhile. Uh, salmon. A lot of salmon. I mean, it's worthwhile, but not what I was looking for. In the slightest, actually. But it is what it is. I'm not going to win them all, right? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I saw some. I saw some of those. Huh. Usually there's fish right here. Then again, it is becoming nighttime. Yeah, they could have all just went to bed. Went to bed. Went away for the night. Well, basically same thing when it comes to the particulars. All right, last bow. I'm going to hold on to that. Drop off on the malachite I picked up, though. How much I will do. There we go. Drop off all the quicksilver as well. Uh, I'm going to take one of these. There we go. Hmm. Then there's the things I need to drop off. All of those. I guess I'll drop off this here too. Why not? Um, orcish boots. Oh, I could have sold those. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Alright. Um, I am carrying way too much iron ore, though. So I'm just gonna drop all of that off. There we go. And I'll drop off my other crap inside the house. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, where did I put some of my stuff? Those are fine clothes. Oh yeah, it was in the, it was in the safe, right down here. That's right. I remember now. Put all of it over here. Oh, uh, there's that. There's that. Oh, I need to drop those off too. I'll drop that off later. These. Um, those. That. Uh, all of those. That, for sure. That, that, and that. That's a decent amount of my weight. Now just disappeared for in my inventory. Which is always nice. Um, Food-wise. I should make something food-wise. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Ooh. That's where fondue. Since I now have moon sugar. Excellent. Okay. Um, I could do steamed mud crab legs. That's good. That's a good idea. Um, have all the salmon meat made into steak for moi. Alright. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And then we have all the leeks finish out in vegetables. Nice. Okay. Okay. Potatoes. Mm. I do have a decent amount of tomatoes too, but mm. not quite a place I'm comfortable with. Okay. How is my inventory now? 331. Okay, that's probably as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Let us take a long, hard sleep. Alright. Uh, of course I'm hungry. 
Mikai. Mm, apologies. And yet you aren't moving. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wait. All right. Well, let's move you over here. It will be done. Good. Is there anything else? Do you need something okay. from this one? Okay. You're going to follow me still. Good. All right. Um. Hmm. Well, I'll eat vegetable soup. I'm going to drop off the corundum ingots over here. Where I should have dropped them off, but I was too silly to remember to do that. Alright. Camping supplies. I do have one more. But I should make another just in case. Uh, camping supplies needs three firewood. So really, all I have to do is make up a whole bunch of firewood, and then I'm good to go. Don't, don't I have? Don't I have a spot to do that here? I swear I did. Don't I? Do I not? Do I not have one? No. I was sure I did. I was sure that I did. Am I losing my mind? Wait, don't answer that. Reggie, especially you don't answer that. Alright, well, I can grab these things. That's good, at least. Grab a leak. Mr. Wart. Oops, that's not what I meant. Death bell and death bell. Good. I could swear there was one though. Wasn't there? Am I thinking of the? F am I thinking of the Battleborns farm? I am thinking of the Battleborns farm. Also, oh, when did this happen? Uh, well, no point in just letting them just sit there, doing nothing. Um, well, I mean, it's not like the Battleborns will miss them, right? We are on a farm. Because yes. you expected there to be more horses and fewer carrots and potatoes. Well, I mean... You can't ride the potato... So you can still pet one, you know? Yes, you can still pet one. Very observant. Alright. There we go. We'll just cut these open. While I wait for the day to come up. And also, I'll end the episode. Sounds like a plan to me. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and, well, doing what I can to get, you know, vengeance for Skewer and, you know, helping out Bikai where I can. And then going to help out Makara. By trying to find her brother at the best opportunity. Which will be when I have the opportunity. After I restock everything. Because that's going to be a long trip. Uh, making sure I have enough food and supplies for the whole thing. Therein lies the problem. But we'll get it figured out. Hopefully by the next episode. For you.